morning, everybody. got an empty trailer behind me and that's no good I got this lumber off it I got my tarps rolled up they helped me in here I was in and out super quick again it's always a good time coming here good guys now let's go to Thief River Falls let's put some other stuff on this I don't want to keep this thing empty for too long so let's go put some stuff on it it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a good day very good day. So let me check where I'm stopping. I think I'm going to stop in Pillager on the way west to get a coffee. I just got to make sure that my route is going to take me past that. I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yep. Right past the good people in Pillager, Minnesota. We're going to stop at the Casey's there. There's a nice big truck stop that I stop at quite often. You guys have seen it before. Run in there, grab some... Uh, Grab some coffee. I should actually check. I'm gonna quickly check my route to see where the cheapest fuel is today. I'm gonna to want to fuel wherever it's cheapest. So I open up my uh, the Wex app and I punch in my route for today, and it'll show me all the fuel stops that I can fuel at along my route today, and all the fuel prices for me on my fuel cart. Now we have different prices than what's posted uh, because it's a big it's a big account. So there are discounts that go along with that. Let's see. Let's see. Search along a route. Let's say from here where I am in Brainerd, Minnesota to Pembina, North Dakota. Because that's where I'm going to be crossing. It's going to load up the stations. In the meantime, uh, today the loading went uh, uh, really quickly and smooth. And nothing to report, really. I got up, I slept right here. I got up, we unloaded, and here we are. That's all I had to tell you. Okay, let's see, let's see. Who's got the cheapest juice? Who's the winner? The winner is, oh, Pilot Grand Forks. I'm not going through Grand Forks, though. One second, I, I punched this in wrong. Truck off here while I'm busy. I forgot to mention to my app that I'm going through Thief River Falls. So the cheapest juice would be in Thief River. Oh, no way. In Thief River Falls, eh? Three ninety nine nine a gallon, U.S. Okay. It's interesting to see where the prices are, because I never used to pay this close attention, right? But now that I have this app, it'll tell me detailed spots where I can fuel and how much the price is for me today. So, uh, it's really saved me a lot of money. I tell you what, like at the end of the month, I've been saving thousands of dollars, like almost every month. Because think of it, if I fuel in the States as, as opposed to Canada, I fuel what, maybe every second day, every day, is about 600 liters. Fueling in Canada, I'll save anywhere from one to $200 a fuel up. And I fuel up, oh, three, four times a week. So it adds up, and at the end of the month, like, it, it really helps out a lot, especially with the price of groceries and everything when you go home. And... Okay, well, that, that is the plan then. Okay, okay. yippity doo da day We got a plan. I love having a plan. I hate not having a plan. Not having a plan is no fun. You need to know what's happening. Beautiful day out, and it's supposed to be a really nice weekend too. It's supposed to be pretty warm. I'll take it. That 
tree still has leaves on it. Wow. They're really hanging on here. What have I done? I feel like my eyes were a lot more hungry than my stomach will be. <laughs> well, that's a lie. I'm going to eat it all. I'm going to eat I'm just acting like I don't eat that much. Come on. This is going to be delicious. Whoa, it almost fell off. Oh, you stay right there. This is dangerous. Almost had to eat floor pizza. <laughs> no, not today. All right. Okay. Uh, guys are going to wait to live load me, apparently, in uh, Thief River today. I'm going to get there around 2 o'clock. Usually I just switch trailers, but they're going to live load me, which is different. I'm okay with that. It's totally fine. So I gave them my ETA. Uh, which means I've got to stick to that ETA now. Usually if there's a loaded trailer there already waiting for me, I can get in at any time. I can sort of go at my own pace and get there when I get there, switch trailers and get going when I get going. But now there's people relying on me to be there at a certain time. I've given myself plenty of time to get there. I'll probably get there about a half hour early. But that's just in case if I run into any problems or anything along the way, then I'll still be on time. It's better to be a half hour early than uh, five minutes late. All right, so let's get out there. All right. Let's get out there, make sure that we are early. I don't want to be just on time. So if you're just on time, you're late. You want to be at least five minutes early everywhere you go. Let's say 15 minutes early would be good. That'll give you time to park, go inside, let them know you're there. So you can start working at your appointment time, right? So if they expect you there at two o'clock, they expect to be loading me at two o'clock, which means before two o'clock, I've got to let them know I'm there. They got to get their machinery out there and get all ready, find my load, get it all organized so that at two o'clock they can be putting the first piece on my trailer, right? That's how I see it. Life's not always perfect though. We don't live in a perfect world. So it doesn't always work out like that, but that's what we strive for. That's what we try to do. Turn right. Sometimes things just happen. Sometimes you're late. Just try not to make that a pattern. I'm way too nice. I don't want to be behind this dump truck, but I don't want to cut him off either. Oh, he's turning. He's turning. Yeah, we're going for it. Sending it. Thank God for turn signals. They are so useful. when people use their turn signals properly. It just makes my day. It makes life so much better.
That means I saved $137 today, Canadian. Over $137. Just fueling here. We averaged 6.8 miles per gallon. Or 34 liters, 34.54 liters per 100 kilometers. Since the last time we fueled up and then we did this whole run from Kenora back down to Brainerd up here to Thief. So not too bad, not too bad, above average. So we're going home from here. Well, we're gonna go drop this trailer off in our yard where it's safe and sound. trailer 542 542 where are you so I'm back to the yard here I brought that load of people for falls here dropped it in the yard I know it's been really quick for you <laughs> it's been a day for me brought it to the yard put it down in the middle there they can unload it on Monday or tomorrow Monday or tomorrow probably tomorrow I guess Saturday uh, I'm getting ready to go home for the weekend this truck's got to get new front shoes on it tomorrow I'm very excited we're getting new steer tires it's a big day. Uh, in the meantime, my load, oh, it's right there. My load is here in the yard, and I gotta come here on Sunday, the day after tomorrow, grab it, hook onto it, and start heading down, or heading out to Saskatchewan, I guess, west to Saskatchewan with it. It's right over here. Who are you, 542? This is my trailer, my load. I got no trailer on me now, Bob down. Look at my load going to Saskatchewan. So I gotta come tie this down. It looks like it has, I wonder if I can use these. Hmm, it's got wheels, so I'm gonna have to loop the wheels. Wonder how I'm gonna do that. I guess around, sorry, I'm not even pointing this where it's supposed to be. Maybe I should get my other camera where you can see better in the dark. Let's go to the other side. The, cam the, the lights are on the other side. Let's see if you got better lighting there. Ah, yeah, much better. There you go. There you go. Now you can see what I'm talking about. See, I've got to probably loop these tires through here, I'm thinking. I want to go through that there, through that there. So that's stuck there. I'm going to want to belly wrap this tongue here. Give it a nice hug so that it holds it down and holds it from going back and forth. And then, is this connected? I'd like to think that I can just tie it down using these, but I don't know. I think that would be better than going over the top. Is that going to hold it though? Hmm. <laughs> it looks like it's made for that though, right? Like you'd think that's where you put the straps through. <laughs> so we're gonna have to do some figuring out. I think if I loop the tires eat on each tire, you know what I mean? Like winch it on both sides. So what I do is I go from one winch here, around the back of the tire, back around this side, to a winch here, and then winch them both down. So that it sucks that tire down, can't move anywhere. So I'll do that to this tire, I guess through here. I'll have to, yeah. Through there and through there on that tire. And then tongue wrap 
belly wrap, this tongue here. So one, two, three. I don't know if I need to go over the top then. Can I get at the axle under here? Ah, the axle is all. Ah, it's enclosed. I see, I see. Oh no, 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 no. It's still there. Okay. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Four of them. I mean, it looks. Why else would these be here, right? It's just, I don't know if I trust that because that shakes all around, but it is connected on the hinge there. It's welded on. I mean, right? You don't want to put a strap all the way over the top. That'll damage the top. You want to keep it on the wheels and the rubber and on the tongue in the front. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to declare this a Sunday problem. What's today? Today's Friday. It's not Sunday at all. Let Sunday worry about Sunday's problems. It's Friday. Let's go home. Time to go home, old blue. Let's go.